Welcome back to the channel y'all. So today's pick a card. We are having a look at what are they thinking about right now? <laughs> 18 plus. This could be, you know, whoever you came to this reading for. But we're looking at the details of who this person is, what they are thinking as well. So I actually wanted to cover this up. Sorry. <laughs> but yes. So let's have a look at these details. And I did pre-shuffle for the who part, but I will live shuffle for, you know, the details on, you know, the other stuff. So let me just cut this all the way off. Okay, so y'all can hear me. Okay, so pal one, looking at who, you know, is thinking about something right now and what they're thinking. So this is the world okay so for a lot of you i feel like this could be a new person that's having these thoughts or someone you could have just met or someone you like i said knew you were about to meet i feel like this is someone that may see themselves in you or may feel like that they're seeing themselves in you and so as you can see this person they're looking at themselves in the mirror and they're like "Ooh, look at me I look good. So this is someone I feel knows that they look good with their clothes on and with their clothes off. Or this is someone that's possibly imagining you with your clothes on or your clothes off. So we do have, what's here? We do have Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo here. So they could be important. They could be someone's sign here. But definitely someone who's giving me like this new vibe. So looking at who this person is. Let's see more about who this person is. Okay. Let's go into your pre-shuffle card. So looking at the first card, they're showing up as a shapeshifter. And I see that in that mirror there. Navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. This is someone who sees the potential in everything. This is someone who may dream about you, who may have, you know, some vivid dreams. So, and I feel like seeing is very vivid with whoever this person is. They are good at visualizing. So I don't know, this may be someone that's manifesting you, <laughs> but... I'm hearing like that saying, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the something of them all? There may be something this person does. I don't know. They may be someone who, you know, is dabbling into magic or something. Mirror magic is another thing I feel. But very much like spiritually aware of, you know, magic and things like that. Or they may be unaware. But... You know, I feel like this is someone who's very good when it comes to the mind. Shape-shifting, they're good at this. So looking at the who, again, so we have embraced. Through each other, you find the missing, the missing pieces. So this is someone that feels like, you know, you are part of their missing piece. And it's crazy because, like I said, back in this card, I'm trying to keep her hidden because her her boobs. But... The mirror there makes me feel like this person almost sees themselves in you in some way. Like y'all relate or y'all may have a lot in common. So they could be key to knowing, you know, who this person is, is, you know, thinking about you right now or just has some, you know, dirty things going on in their mind. Y'all relate to a lot of things. Y'all possibly have the same taste in music or just, I don't know, there's some type of similarities between you and this person. Because through Embrace, you find the missing pieces of each other so you and this person relate in some way we have guarded vulnerability autumn time harvest time truth expression transcendence unity so i don't know i feel like autumn time could be important we are in autumn season i'm filming this all right i'm filming this in december <laughs> but i feel like autumn season could really be important Possibly between you and this person. Possibly when this person is kind of diving into their, you know, their mind when it comes to you. And I feel like with guarded vulnerability, truth, expression, they could be 
one of you could be very guarded the other could be you know very much ready to express how they feel and stuff like that because over here i love how we have unity and transcendence right over here by this embracing card so it's like this person or at least one of you is like very much wanting to come forward but autumn season could be important So more about this person. Oh, wow. It's not an 18 plus if this card doesn't come out, right? <laughs> so this person is showing up as very sexual or they see you as very sexual, very attractive because I'm also being drawn to that person in the mirror again. Like they find you very sexual, sexually attractive. Does that make sense? I don't know. We also have self-employed. I also feel like art can be important here. I don't know. Somebody may have tattoos like this. But I feel like art is important. I'm hearing that Dumo song, Dumo Wilson. I don't know if y'all are aware of her, but she's a YouTuber. And I'm hearing a part in her song when she said, "Body a work of uh, body like a work of art, or something like that." Just look, just look, and it makes me calm. So <laughs> I feel like this person really. And this song is called "Let's Elf, Let's Do It." By Dumbo Wilson, but I'm definitely just feeling like this person is so attractive to you, or is so attracted to you. Like you both find each other attractive, but I do get that vibe of you're just really just seeing your body like a work of art, just very beautiful, beautiful enough that they would love to draw on you, they would love to touch on you, they would love to do things like that. Wow! And someone here may have a full body, and they love that full body here that's important oh now i'm hearing another song body like a back road i know every curve like the back of my hand and as you see over here in this picture her you know she has these curves in this image i would consider her as slim thick so regardless of how you look whether you're slim thick whether you're a little bit thicker regardless your curves is like this person really loves it body like a back road I know every curve like the back of my hand. It's like this person. For some of you, this is some of you already know because they're saying they know every curve. Like they know your curves and all that already. Others of you, this like they may just be so mesmerized with your body that they kind of got a, a feel on, <laughs> you know, how, you know, all your curves go. It's like very beautiful. Hmm. Okay. So looking at, you know, who's viewing you. We have all that good stuff come out. So let's see more about, you know, what they're viewing. Like, you know, what's going on in their mind? We already see that they're very attracted to you. So Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, King of Wands. Oh my gosh. And Ten of Pentacles. It's like this person just sees the possibilities with you at the back of the deck we do have the nine of pentacles i'm getting this vibe of what i want i cannot have so for some of you this is someone that wants you but they for whatever reason they can't have you and it makes sense you know here with the guarded card for it's like for whatever reason you know this person cannot have you i'm trying to put your card up a little bit so i can zoom out but it's like for whatever reason they can't have you why can they not have you but I feel like this person is, you know, ready to offer something. They want to give you something. With Page of Pentacles, I don't know, this person may ask you out on a date. You know, throw some money your way or something. <laughs> but with the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands, this is someone who's very much attracted to you. Very much like, ooh, I'm hearing baby girl. So I don't know if like, this is someone who's very, they may have a sexy voice or they just... The way that they talk and stuff is very <laughs> attractive. And I just feel like this is someone who's very passionate. You and this person may have a lot of chemistry or you may feel like there's, you know, very much a lot of heat with this person. They could be very attractive as well. But with the Knight of Cups, this may be someone who's very passionate and everything. And they may be open to showing their romantic side to them. And I feel like this is something... That they're used to doing like this is not a problem for this person to be you know giving in that way but with ten of pentacles here on the side of them it's 
I don't know if this may be someone who's looking for establishment, who's looking or someone who comes for money or someone who's, you know, again, looking to be established within a family. So that's interesting because the Nine of Pentacles did come out. So, oh no, let's pull some, let's pull some more. Let's see. Let's pull from this deck about this person that's, you know, how they viewing you right now. Oh, Queen of uh, Wands. Like I said, King and King, Queen and King of Wands are here. Two different decks. You both are freaking sexy. Could even be different um, people that like, come from different backgrounds. One of you could be black, the other could be white. Don't have to be. But I am just getting that vibe of you both are very beautiful. But with the Queen of Wands, it's like confirming, like, oh, yes, you are sexy as elf to this point. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm shuffling. The King of Wands is here. I don't know. Some of you, both of y'all could be darker complected. Does not have to be. Just could be confirmation. But, oh, my gosh, y'all. This person sees you as their queen or sees you as their queen. Like, come on. The queen on top of this page of Pentacles definitely want to offer you something. And definitely, it's like they are wanting to be true to this offering. This isn't just 18 plus. <laughs> I feel like it may go beyond this. Oh my gosh. And we have seven of cups. This is someone that has options. But they're coming through and they're like, but baby girl, I want you. Baby boy, I want you. Or like, hmm, could this work? Like, look at her facial expression. She's like, hmm. Could this happen? Could me and you happen? Could it be more than this? I feel like this is someone that may dream about this. And look at that. We have Seven of Wands and Justice card. With that Ten of Pentacles. And it makes me feel like someone could be keeping the balance within their home life or trying to keep the balance very much protective of their home life this is someone who's very much when it comes to home family they're very much protective when it comes to that that could be a boundary when it comes to this person they don't play about their family they don't play about their kids they don't play about their private life at the back we do have three of cups so i don't know for some of you this could be friend or this could be someone that you meet when you're with your friends or they are with their friends or something here with friends here. Could be even a love triangle. Possibly this person may already be established with somebody. But like I said, you know, I just also got another message. I don't know if this person, this may not be for a lot of y'all. Keep in mind, this is general reading. But I do get this vibe. If this person is already with someone, I don't know if their person is okay with them bringing in a third person. That could be for like one person here. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, take what resonates. So they may have like, you know, an open relationship or something for like one or two of y'all here. Because I am seeing, you know, with this king and queen here and this cup energy and the three of cups. I am just getting that vibe. So that is that, but very beautiful. You both are very beautiful. So let's just see. Let's just dive deeper into, you know, this person, like how they're viewing you right now. Oh, they may be seeing you as a runner. You may be afraid because over here you are guarded. Someone here is guarded. Fear of intimacy, listen to the ego, runner, and a codependent relationship. Yeah, you're definitely, you know, afraid of it. And this is something that, you know, you don't want to find yourself in no crazy situations. And I give it. <laughs> I give it. So let's just see what else this person is. How is this person viewing power one? Ah, healing family issues. So you may have gone through your fair share of, you know, family situations. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And it might also be something that this person is healing through their family issues as well. Since we do have the Ten of Pentacles. But at the back, we have worth waiting for. Divine time is at work in your love life. So again, y'all, we do have this king and this queen here. This could be you and this person. So, you know, take that because it's given divine connection. But 
I'm hearing also like it's giving me the vibe of, you know, this ain't it's worth waiting for. It gives me like wrong timing almost, possibly. But let's see, let's see. For pal one pertaining to this person. How they viewing this, how they viewing them. We have two that flipped out. We have responsibilities, romance interrupted. Do these come first? Yeah, I feel like, like I said, this person's all about taking care of their people. We have friendly support. I did see at the underneath that worth waiting for. Um, get advice from your friends. So fairies, gods, and friends give aid. So possibly you may be talking to your friends about this situation. We did have the three of cups. It could be with a third party and um interference coming in at y'all. It could be, you know, possibly you were getting some input from your friends and they may be interfering with this because I was getting that this person is so private that they don't let people in on their private life. Of course, it could possibly be that they're talking to their friends about this, but I'm not really getting it. I could be, I get more so it could be from your side. At the back, we have holiday. So enjoy a change of scenery to um, spice up your love life. So you and this person may go on some type of holiday together. I am feminist in December. It is the holidays. We are in autumn season. So Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, New Year's vacation or something like that is, you know, significant. So let's see more about, you know, how this person is viewing this. Even with the friendly support, we have two guys and this woman here. So I definitely get this vibe of third party interference again. It could be, you know, this person... I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm getting threesomes. But we have Kite. Wow. Another card that talks about vacation. You and this person, this person wants to have a getaway with you. And, you know, just kind of get away from the responsibilities. Kind of get away from the friends. Get away from other people's opinion. Just get away. It's honestly the vibe I'm getting at the back of the deck. We do have the woman here. Dealings or relationship with the woman. So you could be the woman or this person may already have some type of dealing or relationship with another woman or a woman. So let's see what else wants to come out. Then we'll get some notes from this person or a place as well. I'll probably also pull a place. So we have here the peacock. Beware of great pride. And even with this showing up, I feel like, again, it's giving me what I was getting it with the guarded card here, great pride. But now I'm being so drawn because the peacock is almost like a show off. <laughs> so I'm kind of getting with this masculine card over here um, with truth and expression. It may be someone here that has a lot of pride and they need to be aware of that pride. You know, I'm getting like someone may be thinking they're too good or they can have whoever, whatever, whatever. We did get their seven of cups here, you know. So that's popping up. We have at the back the pig. So beware of greed. It could be this person that's, you know, all these responsibilities. And it's like you have what you have, but you want more. So, you know, that is that. But let's see here. Let's see how this person feeling about this. And whether you know this person or not, whether you're in separation, not talking, or you even, you never met this person. How are they feeling at the moment? Let's see about this. That's too many. But I definitely feel like we have that movement here. I might still take these though. So they're possibly wanting to make a move fairly quickly. We have strength. I feel like they're really showing up as that peacock energy, showing up as, you know, someone who's very stable, someone who's prideful is also what I'm getting. We have creative, someone who's thinking a lot about you. Again, they're showing up as the shapeshifter, someone who's good with their mind, could be very creative in the bedroom as well. And I feel like this is someone that attracts a lot of people. So again, physically attractive, could be someone who's suffering from anxiety as well. That's another thing. And we have faith, but someone who's also keeping hope and faith alive. And we also have balance again. And I feel like this is their responsibility coming through. Whatever responsibilities this person has, power one, they're very much trying to balance it all out, kind of focus. So let's get something from this deck and we'll get some, you know, notes about what this person has to say 
or what other cards kind of confirm some things. So we have not the right time. I did say earlier, timing is important here. But you must remain positive. This person is remaining positive. They may feel like right now is kind of not a good time to reach out and try to, you know, do some 18 plus stuff. So they want to go on holiday with you. So this may be someone who may reach out to take you out somewhere. So let's just see what they want to say. So we have, you hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. My life started when I met you. I feel the same way. And it's crazy because I'm seeing that I feel the same way in the world card. The mirror is like you and this person both are reflecting a lot. I left because you told me to. So for some of you, this is no contact. And we have, I can't even look at you right now. Oh, and I ain't even getting, I, I get two sides of this. I can't look at you right now, but they'll look at that. They want you. It's like they can't look at you right now because like I said, if they already are, <laughs> you know, already established, it's almost like, it's like your hands off to this person, your hands off. And for others of y'all can't look at you right now. It's kind of like this person is upset because you may have told them, you know, no, or you may have, you know, kind of friends on this person or cut this person off. At the back of the deck, we have another balance card. I need more balance. And it's like, whatever the situation is with you and this person, overall, I feel like balance is here. A lot of responsibilities, but you are up in this person's head. They're dreaming about you, fantasizing, things like that. And I feel like they do see you as a very much important person in their life. They see you as a counterpart. They see you as just mirrored to them. The king to the queen and the queen to the king. Like they just see that you both are fit. Like you both fit very well to one another. You both give to each other. You both love to one, to one another. You possibly even had great conversations, but you relate so much. But it could be something interfering with this. And they're saying, I need more balance. So, yeah. So they complete your reading power one. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the following videos. Welcome to Reading Pal 2. So having a look at how they view you, who is viewing you as well. So giving an idea of who's viewing you, how they're viewing you, 18 plus. So here with the full, I feel like this is someone that's giving me the vibe of making my way downtown, walking fast, paces fast, I'm all around. I want you to... Like, this honestly the vibe I'm getting. It's almost like this person is very much open to anything. <laughs> you know, it's like they bump into you and they're like, oh, take my money. You want money? You want to do this? You want to do that? You want to go on an adventure with me? And I feel like I'm not getting anything specific, but I feel like this is like someone you do not know. And if this is someone you know, it's almost like they're coming toward you like in a very new way kind of just very open to the possibilities or whatever you know so looking at who is viewing you so let's have a look so they're showing up as the liberator freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs releasing negative thought patterns and you know what i get that with this fool i get that with the full card because like I said, I do see this fool as very adventurous, very open, you know, kind of like, you need help, I'll help you, you know, whatever. Kind of just someone who's free themselves, but also into freeing other people. It's almost giving me the vibe of someone who's like, mm, I don't want to say someone who's into changing people's minds, but it's like they want to see if you will give something a chance almost like to see if you have an open mind in something you know it's kind of like the vibes i'm getting so next you have two cards that come out so the white dove here with this tree here so with the white dove this is a new beginning and they go so good with the fool because the fool to me is a you know a new adventure a new person so a new adventure awaits embrace it and Live your dreams passionately. That could be this person's motive, you know, kind of go, just go through the motions, you know, just live your life to the fullest, have fun, whatever. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not calling this person a hippie, but I get the vibe of like a hippie-like type of person, but 
without the hippie? I don't know. <laughs> but I do just see that liberator energy here. And with the tree, we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And I love that. Again, I'm getting this energy of the fool and the liberator. Someone who's all about, you know, switching things up, following, you know, your own path, being very adventurous. And I'm also just feeling like since we're talking about who is viewing you in this, you know, sexy way, you and this person may relate to some things. You know, they may see with someone who's open to, you know, just someone who has an open mind, an open heart. Next, we have self-worth, expectation. So this person knows their worth. I feel like this person with, even with expectations, I feel like, I feel like when it comes to whatever it is that they're wanting, whether it be a, a deep connection, it's like they already have these expectations, but you know, they're also open, but it's more so coming from a place of like, okay, I know my worth. So I'm not just going to put up with whatever, you know, and this self-worth card just gives me the same stance as that full energy. So very good. Next we have here sense of humor. Oh, I love this person. We have the horse energy here. I definitely get this vibe of someone who has a good sense of humor. It could be someone who's really funny as well. You see this person as hilarious. You will love their little weird jokes, corny jokes. So I am just seeing it. They may even have like a funny laugh. I even get this vibe of possibly someone being loud. You know, this may be someone who's loud. Someone who's, even for some of you, could be, you know, an activist for something or something. We also have multilingual. And with this... You know, like what it says, multilingual. But every time I get this card, <laughs> especially in an 18 plus read, I get someone who's very good with their tongue. So that is that. Someone who's very good with their tongue. Someone who's overall very good with their mouth. You see this horse's mouth? This is a loud person. They may have a big mouth. like, And I'm not getting it as like they tell people's business. No, I get it more so like they have a big mouth. Like when you kiss this person, like, they mouth kind of just overrides your mouth or like when they give you, <laughs> I'm going into detail on I? I just feel like they have a big mouth and you know, it's very nice. And as you can see, I feel like even this person's mouth is kind of like this big old smile. This person may have a big smile, a big mouth. Yeah. I'm even seeing, I'm not getting like no big juicy lips. I'm getting like they have the perfect the perfect size lips as well. And they may have some nice teeth too. So that is it. So let's see. What do I want to go in with next? So let's see about this person, you know, how they view on you. So ooh, heart with the key. Welcome love. Welcoming love. Meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. So this person is like viewing you as like, okay. They have the key to my heart. They feel like, you know, this has to be the one. And at the back, we have transcending, ascending, obstacles, learning, a new phase, preparing for union. So this person sees you as a potential, you know? They see you as a potential. And I feel like this is coming from someone that's, you know, single. I feel like this is someone who's single, okay? Right now, before we get into more of the cards, I feel like this is someone who's single, but I also feel like this is someone who is open to whatever happens, you know, it, whatever they stumble into. A wealthy man. I ain't even gonna lie. I feel like if this is someone who's very wealthy, I don't think this is someone who shows that. You, I feel like people would expect this person to not be wealthy, but they are showing up as very wealthy. And someone who shows up with you know, this unexpected income, they may even came across something good financially. So we have unexpected income or they will come across something, you know, that will be beneficial to them financially. So, wow. Okay. Okay. So let's see how else. So this person, how they're viewing you. So they may view you as someone who's wealthy or someone who has the potential to be wealthy or be with someone who is wealthy so yeah next we have here 
natural evolution y'all i just get this hippie type of vibe i kid you not but it says let the situation unfold naturally yes like this is all about someone who's i feel like this is someone who will be okay with going with the flow <laughs> this is someone who's okay with going with the flow and oh my gosh look at the back of the deck we have soulmate you have found your romantic counterpart so this is definitely someone who is important in your life or they feel like you know, you are a soulmate to them. Again, this is how they're viewing you. And they're just like, man, I want to kiss pal too. Because, you know, in this deck, this particular deck, there's different scenes going on. But in both of these cards, these people are like laid up, like against a tree outside. This is something that this person wants to do with you. And just a kiss. I feel like this is someone who enjoys kissing. They may miss your kiss or they may want to kiss you. Interesting. Okay, so let's see more about, you know, how you're viewing Pal to 18 plus wise. Okay, how you viewing them 18 plus wise? How, what do you think? Oh my gosh, a retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This person wants to disconnect from the world with you. They want to go into the bushes. They want to go into the woods. They want to do you in the woods. Yeah. This is giving me that vibe. I like this person. Outside, this could be someone, like again, we have that full card and someone who's very adventurous. I do see this as someone who may like to go camping, someone who's into hiking, someone who's like an outdoorsy type of person. At the back of the deck, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So for some of you, this may be someone from your past. And of course, for those of you that are not claiming that, <laughs> I do just get this vibe with this soulmate energy, a past life reconciliation as well. So that is that. I feel like you and this person will have a lot of deep conversations. I don't think this is shallow at all. Like I just feel like even though this person is all about going with the flow, you know, just going with the flow of life. I also just feel like this is someone who has the ability to go deep, to dive deep and go literally. So yeah, <laughs> so we also have that horse here but we also have a horseshoe good luck this is someone who sees that they've stumbled upon some good luck and that is you so wow this all this horse energy i don't know if this person may be very tall and i was just drawn to the animal parts of a horse so that is that so we do have sunrise new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start y'all oh my gosh i like this person you know this is uh, the full energy. This is someone who's open. This is someone who's creative, adventurous, a very optimistic person. I don't, you know, I'm just getting it optimistic. And at the back with the key, oh my gosh, your second card here with a key. Okay. Successful outcome to your problems. This is someone with manifesting miracles. This is someone who's getting manifesting things. This is someone who's possibly even manifesting you. They could have manifested you and possibly wanting this sexual union with you as well. But not just that. I feel like they really want something good. You know, not anything shallow. Like they want a deep connection with you. So I like this. So let's see what else wants to come out in this deck. We have rainbow. Oh my gosh. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. This person may come into your life or you and this person may come together when a difficult situation comes out. They feel like you are a blessing, okay? I do get that. They feel like you are a blessing to their life. At the back of the deck, we do have the arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. And so in the full card, we know that he is, you know, traveling, you know, with his bag and his dog. So I do get this vibe of someone who is on a path in their life, being more open to things going on in their life. And they stumble upon you. They stumble upon you. They stumble upon you. I'm, I'm really getting it. So let's get some cards and see more about, you know, who this person is. Let's pause to, you know, what they're viewing you. But let's see who is viewing you. Okay. So we have because I forgot to get this in the beginning. So we can just get it now. So we have nine swords. Who is viewing Pal 2? Oh, who is viewing Pal 2? Oh, okay. Okay, 
So I do, oh my gosh, you're showing up as a magician. This is definitely someone who's freaking good at manifesting. Freaking good. This is a magician. This is a very talented person. This is someone that, you know, is also wanting to, <laughs> you know, throw some magic on you, if you know what I mean. But I definitely feel like this is someone who's gone through, I'm hearing dark night of the soul, but I feel like this is, yeah, someone who has some sleep in, sleepless nights. This is someone who's gone through some heartbreak, who's gone through their own situations that had them up late at night, that they shed a tear about, you know, some things in their life. Could have been about partnerships, love, some type of, and again, with the two of cups here, it's definitely a soulmate situation. Definitely, but I feel like this person has entered their full energy, this adventurous type of energy. They could have been someone who was very much all about, you know, stability and still is all about keeping things closed off to their heart, saving, budgeting, could have been a stingy person. And this, you know, of course, I don't know this person. I don't, I don't know if this is their past energy or their current energy because I say a stingy person, but in this fool card, you see he's giving her the money. So I don't know if he's this fool energy. He's this magician person with you. He's willing to open up to you. He's willing to give to you. He's willing to have his hand out to you. So, wow. And also someone who's very good at communicating. Oh, and underneath that, we have the Six of Cups. This is someone who's, you both are going to be very much giving to one another in a lot of ways. This is, this is very divinely guided. You're going to give to each other in a lot of ways. This is someone who's going to help you when it comes to what's burdening you, you know, a lot of your responsibilities. This person's going to help you out. Yeah, but I definitely just see this person as, you know, they're very particular when it comes to who they help, when it comes to money. You know, they're very particular. They just don't go around throwing money on anybody. So I feel like this is someone who's very particular when it comes to stuff like that. So they really see you as something much deeper. And it's crazy because so far we don't have any romance cards other than soulmate in the heart with a key. Like those are like romance to me, but... This is not giving me like this, this person's main thing is more so like it's deeper than that. It's like a deep connection, which is like this soulmate connection. It's just, you know, everything just is natural. We don't have to force this. So this person is, whew, man, I'm loving it. They're good with communicating. This is someone, even in the bedroom, they love to talk to you. They love to oof, go deep into your mind when they're talking to you. I feel like y'all both may have a lot of deep conversations that lead to the 18 plus side of things in the bedroom. This may be someone you dream about. They dream about you. They have all these wet dreams. And yeah, like all this sexy type of stuff. <laughs> so let's just see, you know, how this person is currently, you know, viewing you, how they're currently feeling about you. Because so far everything is good, but. You know, let's just see how are they currently viewing. Oh, they're dreaming about you. You have rest. You're in their dreams. And at the back, we have sweetness. You're in their dreams. They see you as such a sweet soul is what I'm hearing. A sweet soul. A sweet soul. Very gentle. Rest. They're resting right now. So I don't know if you and this person, it may be like quiet time. Y'all may not be in communication. For those of you, if you... Because we do have reconciliation. If this is a past person, right now y'all aren't communicating. For those of you that do not know this person, I feel like there's kind of all of this in their dreams. And little do this person know, little do you both know, you're about to stumble upon each other. So I really love that energy showing up. So let's get a card from this deck. And we'll get some messages from, you know, what this person wants to say or what, you know... Other stuff wants to come out. So let's see for power two, how this person views them. How this person views them. Reconsider. This person, I see the Ace of Swords with this and I also see the King of Swords with it. This person's wanting you to reconsider something. I don't know. I am getting with that. And at the back, we also have no. So it's giving me the vibe. If you, I don't know. But I am getting this energy of... 
if you're about to choose someone, <laughs> it's almost like this person saying, no, reconsider, reconsider. Like, I don't know if you're about to choose somebody or if you're about to go against something personally. I don't know. This person's really wanting you to reconsider this. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out in these cards here. Let's find out in these cards. So this person, but like I said, this person, you're up in this person's head. Like, like I said, for those of you that do know this person, you're in their head for the vote. Well, I cannot talk. But the, uh, for those of you, like I said, if you don't know this person, they're very much dreaming about like this mystery type of person. And like I said, you stumble upon each other. They are very much into kissing. I see that with the two of cups here, they're kissing with these two cards, kissing. This person loves to kiss. They are a kisser. And I say they are a kisser, but I feel like they're not a kisser because they're very particular when it comes to who they're kissing. <laughs> so you gotta be special. It's kind of like the vibes. We have strength here with ego here. You are right. We have, I need more balance. Gossip only hurts more. Oh, we got a sexy card. I am addicted to you. Oh, this person. I get that. I get that. It's a shocker. I can't even look at you right now. They can't look at you. I love because you told me to. So for some of you, you may have told this person to leave you alone. <laughs> but I can't even look at you right now. I get this vibe of... Some of you could have told this person you wanted them to leave, whatever the case is. Could have been some gossip situations here. But with those of you that do not know this person, but that I can't look at you right now. It's like because they're in this resting period. Y'all haven't met yet. I'm getting it. Words do hurt. Oh, for some of y'all. Y'all could have exchanged some very harsh words to one another. To one another. You could have hurt this person's ego. This could be what they're wanting you to reconsider. I'm also getting this vibe of forgiveness. I'm afraid to talk to you. This person is afraid to talk to you. Who is too many? But what's this? We have maybe showing up. Maybe what? They could be why there's nine of swords. There's two of cups is here. They could be, you know, in their head about you and them. And now they're kind of closed off emotionally until, you know, y'all meet again, I guess. Have I lost everything? This person's feeling like they lost everything. I just wish things were different. And at the back, we have definitely. So I don't know. I feel like some of you may already know who this person is. Others of you feel like this is just what this person's going through. Could be their higher self showing up. But... I keep just being drawn to like some cards that are talking current or just past. Could have been like some past live messages showing up here. I love because you told me to. Could have been something much deeper going on. So let's see. Let's get a few of these to see more about how they're viewing you 18 plus. Oh, wow. Hey, the cups. Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and Seven of Pentacles. And at the back, the Devil in Reverse. I feel like this is someone who wants to, it's like they want to be sober with you. They don't want to be under the influence. And in a song that talks about being under the influence and being sober, I think it's a Chris Brown song, but I can't think of the lyrics right now, but... This person does want to be sober with you, even though we have this page of cups. I don't know. They may offer you a drink or something like that. But I feel like it's something emotional. This person really wants to dive into that. This could have been a decision that they made. Could have just said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to express how I feel the power to. I'm just going to let them know how I feel. And that I want something stable. I want this stability. And I'm patient enough for it. Even though I did see that Seven of Pentacles come out in reverse, so it's almost like a little bit impatient. You know, it's like this person saying, I got this, but I want more. I want more. 
I do feel like this person isn't afraid to do some freaky stuff and kinky stuff in the bedroom. I just feel like they may not want to do too much you know, hardcore stuff. I don't get that vibe from this person. I just feel like they just really want to be gentle and they want to be sober. So that is what I have for you, pal, too. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the following videos. Welcome to Reading Pile 3. So having a look at who is viewing you and what are they viewing you or how they're viewing you, I'm sorry. So we have the Hanged Man. And you know, if you watch some of my videos <laughs> when the hanged man comes out i always get take me take me away so far away i'm hearing that song isn't that a song but i do just get this vibe of someone who's kind of like in their head you got this person upside down i feel like who's viewing you i just get this vibe of if you have encountered this person before they're still in their head about you they're still in their head about this encounter that y'all had and for those of you that did not meet this person i feel like this is someone that has the possibility of being up in their head about you so that is that showing up very strongly who the hanged man so let's first have a look at who is viewing you in this 18 plus way so i did pre-shuffle so let's see who is viewing pal three in this way of you know just take me away so far away you know just do whatever you want to me pal three so this is someone who's showing up as an avenger and i also saw the warrior but it did show up in reverse and i'm interested in knowing why so with avenger and warrior i definitely feel like this could be someone who's athletic or have like an athletic build athletic body straight up i never get it's been a while since i got these two cards and even the times I did get them, I never got the vibe of athlete. <laughs> but it's crazy because I feel like this is someone who's showing up as this Avenger. Someone who's a winner. Someone who's a warrior. Someone who's not afraid to go against the grain. And in this card, the Avenger says, Desire to balance the skills of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. So all about balance. All about doing the right thing for the right reasons. And with the warrior... And then, like I said, it showed up in reverse, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost, indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. What in the F? <laughs> so I don't know if you like, it depends on the situation type of person. But the warrior light says strength, skill, discipline, and toughness about, about, blah, 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 I cannot talk, of will, heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice, and conquering the ego. So I don't know if like this person, like they may kind of break, I don't know, I'm getting this vibe of like breaking their morals when it comes to you. And I feel also like someone is like when they're in, they are in and they may mess around and go against their own belief systems or something. I don't know. Let's see more about who this person is. So we do have the rainbow here. Okay beautiful card and it says freedom oh my gosh that's what they look like they look free over here there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be and i do get that vibe with all these cards so far someone who's all about being free someone who wants to be free someone who's you know enjoys just letting loose so this could be you know who's viewing you you know in this sexy way someone who's you know this very freeing type of person even though they're very much in their head a lot so we have here commitment, family, home. We have apology, forgiveness, and receive and open. So this person is wanting to give you some type of an apology, hoping that you will receive this, be open to this apology, forgiving them. I don't know, this could be someone that you've had a home with, you've had some type of commitment with, had a family with, had a kid with. If that's not the case, this could be someone who you know, has some other type of commitment here, but they're wanting your forgiveness in something. So next we have here guilty pleasures and fair complexion. So that could be more about this person here. I feel like with guilty pleasure, this might be someone who's into the sweet side of things. And I kid you not, this is someone who enjoys some freaky stuff, freaky stuff. And this is someone who's all about receiving hmm 
And it makes sense because I see that with the hanged man here. This is someone who's like, uh, I'm getting more so. Like they may show up as someone who's going to, you know, take over and be dominant and stuff. But I just feel like this may be someone who's submissive, regardless if they're the masculine or the feminine. This is someone who enjoys receiving. So interesting. But even with open, I feel like they're open to other things. So that is it. So I want to see more about who this person is, you know, what they look like. Before we get into the details on the 18 plus side of things, you know, how they are viewing you 18 plus wise. So let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, I just feel like this is someone who is, I get flexible. Someone who's very much detailed when it comes to the bedroom scene. Someone who's all about things flowing nicely here with the Temperance card. All about doing what, when, you know, in a very good <laughs> You know order this is someone who may like to take the steps in like when it comes to stuff possibly like okay i'm gonna rub you here i'm gonna kiss you here i'm gonna do this all in moderation like do, knowing when to do what when and with the page one someone who's open to i feel like expressing themselves honestly like if you're beautiful if you're handsome this is someone who's not afraid to show just how sexy you are <laughs> to them and I honestly get that and at the back we have the ace of cups someone who wants you to overfill their cup someone who wants to overfill your cup okay wow someone who's like man pal three knows how to really use a wand pal three is so good at you know stretching their legs opening up their legs like they know exactly when to do what when so that's honestly what i'm getting so far with this person so let's get some of these cards to see more about how they're viewing you so yes so i feel like for the feminines here i don't know some of y'all could have red hair or dark hair could be long curly kinky hair others of you could be very long and wavy but it's just something that's showing up. So Seven of Swords. Ooh. I feel like this is someone who's not afraid to lose. <laughs> or they are not afraid to win. And at the back, we have the Knight of Wands. And it's crazy because I feel like with this Knight of Wands, it's just giving me the vibe of Playboy. Someone who's like, maybe someone who, you know, oh yeah, with the three of cups. Could be someone who's dating around. But I put these to see, you know, how they view you. With this eight of pentacles, I see the eight of pentacles as someone who's very focused. And with this Seven of Swords in reverse overriding that, it makes me feel like very focused but doesn't care too much when it comes to winning or losing. And with this Temperance card, you know, doing things in moderation, knowing when to do what, when, and the King of Swords overriding that, it's almost like this king here having a say-so in this thing. So I don't know if you may let this person take the lead and they love that. Or you will, depending on if you know this person or not, or if you both come back around, whatever the case is. And with this page of wands, you know, possibly doing some dirty texting too. Could be sexting or something. And with the three of cups overriding that, it makes me just feel like this is, again, how they view you. I don't know. They may feel like you show their text to people or they show their news to people or something. Or you may have other options. You may do this with other people. <laughs> it's kind of like the vibes I'm getting. They view you as a playboy or a playgirl. It's like, honestly, the vibes I'm getting. And you enjoy it when someone takes the lead. Hmm. 
All right, so let's see more about how they're viewing PAL3. How are they viewing PAL3? And we have here the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adopting, change, healing. And at the back, overriding, we have the coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I feel like they see you as someone who's like, whatever. <laughs> like, I just get this vibe of like, it is, like, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be this type of person that's, you know, flowing. Like, you know, if this works, it works. If it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. And they just see you as just someone who's, you know, just lighthearted when it comes to possibly situations in general or just in the bedroom. It's possibly like you like to be dominated. But you also like to be in the moment in the bedroom. Or they would like to see you be like this in the bedroom. So let's see more about how this person is viewing you, how three in 18 plus style. The dragonfly. We have yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Ooh, they feel like you're frustrated and you need to be tied down. This is straight up what I got with it. We have the ant, work, achievement, success. Oh, I'm hearing work, 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 work. Babiana, so I don't know. You may be someone. Ooh. Maybe it's fast paced in the bedroom. They view you like that. They view you as someone who's fast paced. Or someone who may like fast pace. We have pen, new job, career. Maybe someone who's switching up career as well. At the back, overriding, we have the dragon. It's crazy, y'all. You got the dragonfly and the dragon. What does this mean? But it says, beware of self-delusion. <laughs> so I don't know if you may be someone who self-sabotages. They may feel like you self-sabotage this for whatever reason how they're viewing you sexually, that you may end up not liking this or something like that. If something was to happen or if something already happened. Okay, so let's see. How else are they viewing Pal 3 sexually? We have the Tankard. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. Ooh, they see you as a lot of fun. See you as a lot of fun. And at the back, we do have the heels, obstacles to overcome. But they also feel like even though they have a lot of fun with you or they could have a lot of fun or they want to have a lot of fun, they just see that you may be very hard to please. So it's crazy, y'all, because now I'm being right back drawn to the hangman, the avenger, the warrior. And it's giving me the vibe of like, this is someone, like I said in the beginning, they're someone who likes to receive. And this may come from a place of possibly because they're afraid to give to you or try to give to you because they feel like they can't do it good enough. I don't know. You may shoot their ego or something down. Maybe if y'all did try before, this may be why they're wanting to show up as this apology card here. Forgiveness. <laughs> may even be someone who says that in the bedroom. I don't know. So let's see more about how this person views you 18 plus wise. So let's see. We have love yourself first. Yeah, temperance is here. And I also see that as a self-care card. So they may see you as someone who loves themselves first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And they love that. Drives them crazy. At the back, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. So it's crazy because I do see this person as being very freeing. And you may be someone who's also kind of, you know, it's whatever. But I also just feel like there may be some times where you're super serious. You know? So there's something. But if not, you know, you're just showing up as playful. This person is viewing you as well. So let's see. How else are you viewing them? I feel like they love to do like... What's it called? I was not I wasn't gonna say role playing, but there could be something since it came out, but what's it called? You know, before you things get started. <laughs> what is that called? 
Um, damn, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> That's how y'all know I don't. Mm -mm. I, I forgot what it's called. It's like before things get started, you know, you kind of set the mood. There may be something that they're into as well, setting the mood. But we have fearless love, a courageous leap into the unknown. They may see you as someone, ooh, yes, 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 yes. They do make, I am getting it strongly with this card. Everything I already said, this is kind of like pulls it all together. You're fearless. A little, I cannot talk, fearless when it comes to love. As you can see how this person here is like looking, like he's looking at her, kind of like, man. And over here, they're kind of looking at each other and they're like, man. So I definitely feel like you, this person gets lost because they're like, man, this person. Who is like, you're not afraid, but you also may be someone who can override them. This may be a masculine person or just someone who's, you know, have this, you know, image. But it's like once they're behind closed doors, it's like they just let you do whatever to them and you're okay with it and again this is how they view you okay this isn't the truth <laughs> so in the back of the deck we have memento a gift from someone special so this may be someone who's wanting to gift you something wanting to give you something wanting to show you a trick or two is honestly what i'm getting i'm sorry so let's see more about you know how this person you know, feel at the moment, you know, even though they're viewing you like all this. I kid you not, I'm getting this vibe of dominatrix, but it's not dominatrix because I feel like you're kind of like this gentle being in a way, but I don't know, maybe sometimes you're cool with dominating. I don't know, but let's just see how they're feeling at the moment. How are they feeling? How are you feeling at the moment toward pal three? 18 plus. Painful, dang. And at the back, we have happiness showing up in reverse. So with that, I kid you not, since it's 18 plus, this may be someone who wants to feel pain. They wants to feel, they want to, they want you to, that's what I'm getting. And if it's not that, which I do feel like it is, <laughs> they want to feel pain. They want you to hurt them. But in a consensual way, of course, consensual, consent is everything. But with pain here, I do feel like this may be someone that you may have ended things with. Because again, we do have apology here and forgiveness. So whoever this person is, they could have hurt you or you could have hurt them. And now they're currently experiencing pain. Yeah, they're not happy because unhappiness is in reverse. They're not happy at this moment in time. So let's see what else before I get your last deck of cards. Let's see what else pertaining to this person and how they view you. So I do feel like something in the near future is going to be going down. Some in the near future because it kind of slipped out. So, but whatever's going to happen, there's no need to worry about three. No need to worry. And at the back of the deck, meditation brings answers. So even if you feel like you need to meditate on this, meditate. It may also be what this person is doing. They may be meditating and being optimistic and you know etc etc so let's see what this person wants to say to you how they're feeling or you know what messages will you know did they not say to you that wants to come out i'm hearing the truth <laughs> so let's just see wants to come out about this person how they're viewing so this may be someone who's light we did have a fair card didn't we could be someone who's fair tone fair skin okay we also have do you even see me that way so for some of you even if this was like a one-time thing this person's like does power three even see me that way but of course i don't know specifically what they mean by that but that's just a message that i got really quickly that if this was a one-time thing or even if it was to happen, even if this is just a thought, since this is just how they're viewing you, do you even see them as more than this? <laughs> you know, do you just see them as, you know, a late night thing? Do you even care? Damn. This person's like, do you, do you, do you, do you? <laughs> Dang, okay. We have definitely. So I feel like they kind of feel like, it's like, 
they're asking you this question, but they're already answering it. It's like they're not giving you a chance to answer. They're like, do you see me that way? Do you even care? Definitely. I don't know. This may be a sassy person. We have, I never imagined so much perfection. Oh, Jesus. This person sees you as perfection. Oh, yeah. They see you as a, a good thing. They're saying, yeah, no. Nah. And it's going right back to, do you see me that way? Yeah, no. Nah. Do you even care? Yeah, no. Nah. It's like they're already answering their own questions. They're not even giving you a chance to. It's like they're the self-sabotaging card may even be them. We have, I'm too afraid to talk to you. Ooh, I'm too afraid to talk. Both of these cards came out at the same time. I'm too afraid to talk. I'm too afraid to talk. I'm too afraid to talk to you. <laughs> this person is funny. <laughs> They're saying, I'm not only afraid to talk, but I'm afraid to talk to you. <laughs> Why can I imagine someone saying that? Like, I'm too afraid to talk. I'm too afraid to talk to you. But through all of this, they're like, I've never imagined so much perfection for Pal 3. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like this may be someone who tries to keep a straight face. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? <laughs> oh my gosh. And at the back, I meant what I said. Y'all, come on now. And I think we should see other people is another thing. I miss you. Do you? Oh my gosh, do you miss me? Y'all, we're not about to play with this person. They're seeing you as beautiful. They're seeing you as perfect. But they're asking, I feel like these questions could be questions that they've asked you, but they're also asking themselves, like, do you even see me that way? You're so beautiful. Like, how do you see me that way? You don't need me. You don't need me. Do you even care? You're so beautiful. I've never imagined someone to be so perfect to want to talk to me. I'm afraid to talk. And I'm not only afraid to talk, but I'm afraid to talk to you. I think we should see other people. But I miss you. Do you miss me? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Definitely, you're perfect. I meant what I said. This may be someone who's freaking confused. They don't even know, okay? I'm checking out. So this completes your reading pile three. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the following videos.